live dinosaurs. And that's not the only surprise today on The Express. Oh, I should learn something. On today's show. The first pop-up dinosaur theme park in the world. Cultus Lake Water Park's Big Summer. We just bought a brand new uh, inflatable water slide. Dino Town Live. But coming through the front door, you're instantly connected to the lake. Capital Direct Dream Homes, a mansion on Alta Lake. We had a really great turnout. West Coast style, a runway ramp up to fashion's night out. Our production is huge. And later, Kelowna's Summer Smash. See that and more local expression. Welcome to the Express, only on Shad TV. I'm Joe Hannah Ward. Think dinosaurs are extinct? Well, think again. New this year to the Cloverdale Fairgrounds, it's Dino Town Live. It's the first pop-up dinosaur theme park in the world. Saved from extinction, it's Dino Town Live. Everybody's here. We got Dusty Bones and uh, his wife Dinah. We got Dee Dee and Dexter and Flapper's new. Uh, the pet, so we got a new uh, show with Flapper in it as well. The show happens three times a day, alternating with a dance party. Where else in the world can you dance with dinosaurs? Only in Cloverdale, turns out, right? Like BC's famous Dino Town that closed in 2010, they cater to families with kids 12 and under. New to the Cloverdale location, inflatable fun. Well, we've got inflatables for all the age groups. We've got a, a fun time express which was similar to the train that we had at Dinotown. With the hot weather, we just bought a brand new uh, inflatable water slide. For the more adventurous kitties. This is as crazy as the uh, roller coaster at the p &E for little ones. This is the ninja saur. I guess it's a good thing the teeth aren't sharp, hey? Very good, yeah. <laughs> Not sharp, but it is steep. It's got a 65-foot slide on it. It's 40 feet high. Wow. Not That's the kind the of thing you're going to see in your backyard. No, though. not at all. This is a one-of-a-kind. <laughs> You'll also find some mementos from the old days of Dino Town. Dee Dee's pink Corvette, is that what we're sitting in? That's it, this is the one and only. And even from the original Flintstones Bedrock City that first opened in Bridal Falls back in 1975. This pink car used to belong to Barney Rubble. Rob L and his family have owned the park since the beginning. And as some things change, some things remain the same. So in the old days, you were the mayor of Dino Town. Are you still now that I'm you're out in Cloverdale? I'm still the mayor. Really? I'm how, does, uh, how does Diane Watts feel about that? She loves it. Really? I've She's met okay Diane with that. Diane Watts many times. Yeah. yeah. She got a real chuckle out of that. <laughs> Dino Town Live, the park's open from 12 till 5 daily, three shows a day. You can also find more family fun at the website dinotown.com with free music and games. Now, if you're into fashion and fun and games, then you're probably excited about the upcoming Fashions Night Out. It's a big shopping event that celebrates local designers and businesses. It's been a hit all over the world, and it's coming to Vancouver. An event that big, you know it had to have a launch party. And West Coast Style has our VIP pass. Pacific Center's West Coast Style is brought to you by Pacific Center. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. I'm Mana Mansoor, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting-edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. Vancouver is once again going to be on the global fashion stage come this September. Fashion Night Out is launching on September 6th, and we're right here at the Media Launch with a show courtesy of Jason Matlow. Designers, stylists, and Vancouver's fashion elite recently came together to not just see a fashion show, but to celebrate the countdown to our city's very own Fashions Night Out. The now famous International Shopping Night marries boutiques, designers, and consumers to offer exclusive deals and social events all in one evening, with partial proceeds going to local charities. The person responsible for bringing Fashions Night Out to Vancouver is local entrepreneur Florence Leung. How was the process of getting it here in Vancouver? 
Well, I actually hosted the Vancouver Fashion Showcase last year to see, as a tester, if the city had an appetite for a more end consumer oriented. Event like Fashion's Night Out, and we had a really great turnout. There was tons of press there, and that naturally came as the next step. And of course, we had to get through the licensing, work with the team in New York. All that has happened, and we're formally in the stretch to promote the event coming in September. Vogue magazine's editor in chief Anna Wintour began Fashion's Night Out in New York as a way to ease the impact of the economic recession on retailers back in 2008. But since then, it's grown to become a global movement. We're not in such a dire situation as New York was back in 2008. But what is the uh, mandate for uh, Fashion Night Out Vancouver? Of course, it is to bring fashion and the fashion hype to the city. Having traveled to different areas of the world, I've seen that in different cities, people are encouraged to dress like an individual, whereas in Vancouver, sad to say, we're ranked as one of the worst dressed cities, and I feel like we don't deserve that. The media launch of Fashion's Night Out Vancouver this summer attracted a crowd that both works in the industry or just supports it. I caught up with a few attendees backstage to get their take on our city's new fashion event, starting with someone who knows the original all too well. Part-time New York resident, Alexander Liang, editor-in-chief of Kenton Magazine. I think it'll be a fantastic progression for the city, especially in fashion and for retail. You know, it's a great opportunity for retailers to showcase what they have, involve the community, and get the public really embracing fashion and enjoying the night. One of the beautiful ladies enjoying the Jason Matlow show this afternoon for FNO Vancouver's launch is Carly Poe, local Vancouver actress. I'm so excited to be in Vancouver for this. I feel like it's about time, you know. I feel like Vancouver has all this so much to give and it's like a, it's like a wallflower, you know, and it's just like it's about time we stepped into our own and really sort of made an impact in the fashion world and the, in all the arts and all the culture. Let's not forget about the night's main attraction, local designer Jason Matlow's Fall Winter 2012 runway presentation. A fitting show for the unveiling of Fashion's Night Out Vancouver. Tell us about why you wanted to be involved with this event. Well, for me, the retailer aspect is so important. I mean, the fashion is fantastic and the runway is exciting and the design part is really exciting too. But you need to sell to boutiques and they need to move product and it's sort of the crucial thing that propels the whole industry forward. And because this event is so retailer based, this is why we felt it was important to become involved. What we want people to get from today seeing Jason Mallow's collection is that that's the caliber they can expect for Fashion's Night Out. And judging by the audience's reaction, that caliber was reached once again. Everything had this little touch of like a femme fatale, it was panache, it was so chic. I loved the lace and the layering of the lace over top of the cream color. And of course, how could you, you can't go wrong with a statement pop of reds. I loved everything that I saw. There were so many pieces that I was coveting. At the end of the day, Fashion's Night Out Vancouver is so much more than a fashion show. It's something that Vancouver's budding fashion scene has been waiting for. I think this has been an ongoing problem with sort of separate fashion weeks and everybody in the industry just sort of trying to have separate agendas. It's just such a great way to bring everybody together as sort of one conglomerate for the fashion community. A community that after September's Fashion's Night Out may just rival its predecessor. I'm Mana Mansour for West Coast Style. Pacific Center's West Coast Style has been brought to you by Pacific Center. The website is fnovancouver.com and you can mark your calendars. Fashion's Night Out Vancouver happens on September the 6th. So there we go, design in the fashion world. What about design in real estate? We're checking in with Nicole Fitzgerald in Whistler. Now some pretty nice homes on Alta Lake. Are you moving in? Not in this lifetime. Today we're gonna take a tour of a $10 million home situated on the beautiful shores of Alta Lake. The water, the docks, the decks, prepare to be blown away. I know I was. Sounds swanky, and we're going to watch for something extra special on that Capital Direct Dream Homes tour later on today's show. Plus, we ask you to stick around for these stories and more from Dino Town Live. I absolutely loved it. Puppy Power with the North Shore Dog Walkers. Our production is huge. Party time at Kelowna's Center of Gravity. The Express, only on Shaw TV. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.